I'm sorry I couldn't attend the funeral. I had tremendous respect for your mother. She liked you well enough to give you her blessings to marry my sweet sister. Yeah, but for her to pass so close to her own wedding, it's, it's just so tragic. Not as tragic as her life would have been alongside that new man of hers. I take it you two didn't see eye to eye on all matters. Well, regardless, Rose wanted some time for herself. She took it quite hard, you know. Yes, she was always closer to my parents than I was. She refused to alter the wedding date, though. Sometimes I feel as though she's looking forward to marrying me more than I am to her. <laughs> and who's paying for it? Sir? Dinner is served. Do you know my chef trained for 10 years at the Culinary Arts Academy before he earned his title? That's interesting. It's a craft that takes time, dedication, passion. The same kind my father possessed. You see, it took him years to accomplish what he did. And it cost him everything. Time, effort, and... Sacrifice. It's now my responsibility to ensure that his legacy, as well as his fortune, live on untouched. Why'd you ask me to come here, Sebastian? Something tells me this isn't just a friendly get-together. And right you are, Christopher. And I'm here because... Well, because your marriage to my sister stands as a threat to everything I've sworn to protect. What the fuck did you just say? <sighs> you know, Christopher, I'm not going to sugarcoat it any further. I want you to put an end to the wedding. And, um... <clears throat> what makes you think I'm going to do that? Well, because... One way or another... This marriage won't run its course. And either you're going to put an end to it, or I will. I would like to see you try. If you say so. What are you doing? What I have to, to keep our assets from falling into the wrong hands. You're crazy. I love Rose, I... Not her money, not yours, her. That, that's funny. You know, my mother gave me a similar speech when I confronted her about getting remarried. I told her that she was carelessly putting everything that my father had worked for at risk. That's when I realized something had to be done. You killed your own mother. I knew that the only way to ensure the safety of our fortune was to have it passed down to me. In my hands, it would be secure. You see, the only setback to that plan, of course, was our dear Rose. 
Seeing as how she inherited half the wealth, I knew I had to figure out a way to keep it falling into the wrong hands. Killing her, of course, would make me look too suspicious. Killing you, however, well, here we are. You think you're gonna get away with this? Christopher, I already have. <laughs>